okay, what am I going to write my paper on? <laughs> this is, this is the, the, the question. You get in a course where they give you a lot of leeway about what you're going to write about, and you have no idea where to start. I'm going to show you a database today that I've made videos on before, and I'm going to show you again. It's a database called Opposing Viewpoints. It's a great database to shop for a topic. Whether you end up using it for the research for your final paper or not, that's up to you. I think, I think it's a good place to start, and then you can go into some other databases and run some other searches. But I really like to start with this topic, this database, especially if I have no idea what I'm going to write about. So I'll just open up library databases A to Z right here. And I'm going to click O. I'm looking for opposing viewpoints. So there it is right there, opposing viewpoints in context. And what I'm going to do here, I could start looking. I could just start browsing. It's a very browsing-friendly database. Um, I could look here and see if any of these topics interested me. And if I wanted more on society and culture, I could go there. Law and politics, I could go there and browse their topics. What I would do, you could browse all 464 issues. This is great right there. Or right up here, there's a link to it right there. So this here, browse issues, and this link, browse all issues. This, I'm going to shop for a topic because I have no idea what I'm going to write about. But if I find a topic in this database listed, I'm going to be guaranteed that there is going to be a lot of easily accessible research on this topic. Okay, that's so much of the battle is you pick a wonderful topic and you get the outline going and you're ready to go and then you do your, you go to do your library research and there's nothing. You can't find anything. So you want to, before you commit to a topic, you want to test in the library research. If that's part of your assignment, you have to be using uh, research from library databases, which a lot of times, more and more often than not, that is a requirement. So what I would do, I'm going to shop. I'm looking through here. and I'll show you, it's really cool what happens when something comes up. Let's go to, I clicked on this one earlier, facial recognition technology. So that sounds interesting to me. Interesting, scary, fascinating. And this, the thing that's nice, if this comes up, it means that there's a lot of research on it and it's a hot topic. So if I click right here, read more, it will bring up a nice overview of the topic. And if I scroll down here, I can kind of just get a quick survey of the research that's out there. Featured viewpoints, these are kind of like um, argumentative essays, uh, opinion essays that kind of take one point of view on this. Facial recognition technology may help detect pain in patients with severe dementia. I never would have thought about that. I never would have thought about that. And I never would have had that point of view in my paper, but now I will use that. New technology re reveals the persistent flaws in US democracy. That sounds interesting. How uh, facial recognition makes you safer. So. It's going back and forth. This one is saying, yeah, not so fast. This may not be such a cool thing. This one is saying, oh, no, it's great. So that's what I love about this database. Uh, let's go down to viewpoints. Uh, look at this, how law enforcement is using technology to track down people. Now, notice, I haven't, I haven't run any searches. I just clicked on this because it looked interesting to me. Okay, here's over here. Here's your peer-reviewed academic journals. There's 29 articles they found on that. There's sections from reference books, infographics, images, radio stories on this, videos on it, newspaper articles, magazine articles, statistics. So this is great. So I know right off the bat, there's a lot of research on this and I can use a lot of this research or I, I could be very confident that I could go back to our website, go into the search all library databases, search box, and I'm sure I would find even more. Let's go back and look at a few other topics. <clears throat> it's just such a great, it's so great to, to use this, and I guarantee you, if you find one of these pages they've created for this research in here, there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of research on it. Let's go politics and media. That looks interesting. Here's if we click on this read more, we'll just get a nice overview of the topic. We scroll down here. Here's the featured viewpoints. These are the argumentative essays taking a very strong point of view one way or another. These are the most popular of those essays. Here's just look at all. They have 16 of those essays you could look at there. Academic journals, seven to look through. And it's not overwhelming. It's just kind of a sampling. And you could write your whole paper just from this page here because it, it, it's taking you to all these different types of sources on this. And then what I would do, I would use this as a place to start. And then again, I would go into this here, probably into the advanced search. And I would run some other searches just searching everything. 
But if I find a page on it here, it's a wonderful springboard. Also, I can browse the issues. I can experiment. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to write about. And that's sometimes the hardest part. And then sometimes when people don't know what they want to write about, they think of something from their personal experience that really, really interests them. And there just isn't any academic research out there on it. Or they just can't find much. Or it's all just from websites or Facebook posts. And your, your instructor is not going to accept those usually as valid resources and you're just going to get into all kinds of problems with that. So I'm just looking through here. I'm just going to shop and again I went to the browse issues in opposing viewpoints. I'm just going to shop for a topic. I'm just going to look through here since I don't know what I'm going to write about. I have no idea and I can't. And I've had the bad experience before of choosing a topic and there was no there was no research on it. Um, let me just look through here. How about renewable energy? There we go. It can also help me narrow down my topic. Renewable energy is a pretty big topic. Let me look through here and see if I can find something that would be that would be a more manageable to write about here. Nuclear power. How about that? If climate change is such a dire threat, why is no one talking about nuclear power? There you go. I could write a whole paper on that. How come no one talks about nuclear energy anymore? Okay, it's 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 that's one of the most practical, you know. Well, let's look into it and see, right? And I, that would be a great topic. And again, I had no idea a few seconds ago that I was going to write about that. Let's go back here and shop a few more. It's just wonderful. I love shopping for a topic. I don't have to type in in this database. I don't have to type in any searches. I could if I wanted to, but uh, ooh, genetically modified food, that would be good. And I guarantee you, if it's in this, there's going to be a lot of research. Gig economy, that's interesting. And it has enough it has enough resources within this database. Look at all these. Academic journals, viewpoints, featured viewpoints, primary sources. Does loneliness lurk in temp work? Ooh, I like that. Exploring the association between temporary employment, loneliness at work, and job satisfaction. Yeah, what happens if you don't have any group of coworkers that you bond with? How do you, it used to be a lot of our friendships or oh, maybe even marriages came from. What, what do you do now when there's no connection to your workers? to your coworkers, or you don't really have coworkers. Um, so focus on gig economy must lead to widespread revisions to labor policy. I've already got two great areas in my paper I could write about that are really interesting. Okay, so that's a, that's a quick intro to this database. Again, I went on the library website to library databases A to Z, and I, found, I went to O, and I found opposing viewpoints in context. I think it's a great place to shop for a topic when you don't know what you want to write. There you go. There's that quick intro video to this. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.